Kanan here uh, with another video on stock photography. Today I'm going to go over two things, which is one, um, stock photography paying off bills in 2021, as well as uh, why I think Adobe Stock is a really good platform to um, try submitting stock photography to in 2022 or whichever year. So the first part, to summarize the earnings from 2021, um, on Shutterstock, I made a total of $185.99 over 344 downloads. And for Adobe Stock, I made $153.76 over 171 downloads. So if you compare that, um, the download, the earnings per download, Shutterstock is around 54 cents per download and Adobe Stocks averages out to 90 cents per download. So th these numbers I was able to achieve um, essentially with a portfolio of about 120 photos I believe on both platforms. Um, and as you can see, the total earnings can fluctuate per month. So it's not dependable income that you can expect every month. Some month had a low of five, almost five, six dollars, and then other months had like 40 something dollars uh, for Shutterstock in July and September. And those are purely based on whoever downloads your photos, what type of subscription plan they have. Um, for Adobe, the use cases are, uh, there's no trend, like it's not reliable month by month that you can have a set amount of income by, but I am looking at the whole year income and seeing how that can pay bills. So as a photographer, um, I like taking photos. I'm a hobbyist, but I'm also a full-time mechanical uh, engineer in training. Um, so I have a full-time job and I have a family. I re we recently have a baby girl. Um, in last March so it's not like there's a lot of time to um, do photography and if you do paid gigs it takes time away from your family on top of whatever work you end up doing um, so when I say stock photography has helped me pay some bills um, the bills that I'm referring to is uh, stuff related to photography so with my photography I have a couple of things that have yearly payments one of them is an upkeep of my website I go through Squarespace, so they're the website host, and I have to pay for the domain. So the domain costs me $20 per year. Uh, the website host at Squarespace costs $144 per year. And I also use SmugMug to deliver photos to uh, clients, as well as store photos as a backup for all my photos just for hobbies. So that's $55 per year. And then I also pay for Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop and the subscription plan. I think it's around $10 US per month if you pay per, uh, if you commit to an annual contract, which ends up being $120 per year. So the total of my um, photography hobby uh, cost is around uh, $340 or 339 to be exact. And um, that's in US dollars. Um, so, I was trying to approach it uh, as I'm busy with work and um, my family that I wanted a way to pay off this overhead cost that I'll have to pay every year and that's why I kind of looked into um, stock photography and it was pretty cool that this year it finally paid off um, these bills for the whole year um, and these are just overhead costs that I would have to pay regardless if I made uh, had one gig to shoot something a photo shoot or not or if I just took photos just for fun for my family. Um, so these are the minimum upkeep that I wanted to meet with uh, stock photography and it was really cool that I met it this year. So this later portion is about why I think you might want to consider contributing to Adobe stock. Um, at the beginning of this year, I was surprised to see a little banner when I signed into Adobe stock saying I qualified for a year subscription for um, Adobe uh, Photoshop and Lightroom, the Creative Cloud Photography Package. Um, I looked into it and it seemed like there was a bonus program that which I wasn't aware of. I'll put it on the screen. Um, so if you have um, 150 to 5 or 4,999 uh, assets downloaded, um, you qualify for a Creative Cloud plan. Um, either for the photography, the Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere Pro, or After Effects. Um, and if you have more than 5,000 uh, downloads, you actually get full access to the Creative Cloud 
uh, for one year. So I think this is really cool that they have this bonus plan. Um, if you have videos, it counts differently. Uh, you can look at um, on the website for this. I've trying to figure out if they'll continue this bonus pro uh, program for 2022. I think it, it existed back in 2020 as well, but I don't think I meet, met the requirements. Um, but I think Adobe did a really good job in supporting creators in this uh, regard. Um, when you think about it, the photography plan costs 120 US dollars. And when you look at how much I made from Adobe stock, it's pretty much half, uh, not half, it's like this pretty much the same cost as the amount of earnings I made just by having just barely over 150 downloads. So if you factor that in, it might be worthwhile since uh, you might pay for Lightroom and Photoshop anyways. Um, if you can have, qualify for that, it's pretty awesome. And I think that's very cool that they have this incentive um, to um, have um, on their platform. And Adobe is probably one of the only um, stock photography platform that has this advantage because Adobe has control of their own software and the subscription plans and I think it's really smart for them to uh, support their own platform and um, encourage you know, creators to use their platform as well. So that is why I think you should, if you were to get uh, into stock photography today, you definitely should consider Adobe stock as one of uh, the platforms to contribute to. Um, the response times for accepting photos I found is not as fast as Shutterstock, but once they get accepted, um, I found their review and uh, acceptance a lot uh, fair and understanding than Shutterstock. Sometimes I find Shutterstock, um, the reviewers just say the images is blurry or out of focus when it's a shallow depth of field intentional photo like that. So yeah, I don't, I'm not sponsored by Adobe, but I just was very happy that they offered that bonus plan and that I was able to get the Lightroom and um, Adobe um, Photoshop for free for a year because I met the minimum requirements for uh, the number of downloads. Um, so yeah, this is just my quick update. Uh, please comment below of what other experiences of what other platforms uh, you have contributed stock photography. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope to continue making videos um, related to how this portfolio continues go, uh, to go. And I'm hoping to make some actual photos to upload uh, coming soon. Um, yeah. And I guess I just want to share with you if you're wondering if it is still possible to make uh, money off stock photography. Um, yeah, there's a couple other videos for you to check out um, that I made on this topic. So yeah, have a good one. Till the next video.